Andrew McFarlane here. And today I want to talk about our health. Now, this is not going to be your normal health talk. Um, I say that because there's all this information out there and we're given so much of it, but we're re really never given understanding. And I find that this is true for how we're taught or how we learn in general. We're not taught to see things differently. And unless our perspective changes, we won't really change as a result. So especially when it comes to your health, because what you eat is such a direct reflection of what you believe and how you perceive the world. So I want to just offer a few perspectives that might open up the conversation and your personal perspective on, on what food is. So first off, um, someone once said that if you look at the word information and you break it down, you get in formation. So the form of something is informing you and form is function. So if you see people in a line, it, it gives you some information because of their formation. So that's, that's one way the universe is communicating through form, just as if you had six arms instead of two arms, your function would be different. So your form and your function are synonymous. And the universe is showing you the function of foods through their form. The universe also communicates in patterns, which is part of that, um, but also through colors. Uh, it's very literal and it's very poetic. So there's a full spectrum of the rainbow. When we see blue in the sky, it's not because there's a bunch of blue stuff up there in the sky. It's because of, of the vibration and the frequency. Just like in the rainbow, there's the full spectrum. And when you get to the color purple, there's more concentrations of light within that color purple. And then there's even spectrums which we can't see. Human beings can't see, but other animals and insects can see. So realizing that everything on this planet is alive because of the sun, we know that. Um, and because of water and other elements, if it weren't for all of these elements, we wouldn't be here. Everything is absorbing sunlight. So when you look at your food, consider how much light is within it. So for me, as I started to gain this understanding, I didn't think about apples and oranges and in a um, left brain way of thinking this has this vitamin. This I started to get more into the essence and the energy of the food. Okay, the smell, the smell is informing me, the color, the richness of the color is informing me. What is my body's reaction? I, I really want to invite our entire culture to get out of the left brain thinking process around their health because what happens is, is if when you're in your left brain when it comes to really anything and you don't have a balance of both, you start mistrusting your intuition and mistrusting your feeling. You might eat something and go, or smell something and go, you know what, that I don't really want that, but because you have the the conceptual feel understanding that you need to consume it, you will. But you but the information is always changing. You know, you hear one day that this is good for you and then you're finding out it's causing cancer and it's killing people. And so I'm getting to this place and have been for a while through cleaning my body out, cleaning my mind out from old concepts and perceptions and really being able to see the universe in a new way. When you start to see that, you'll start to really see, like I look at trees and I look at palm trees. I'm in California and there's a lot of palm trees and their leaves almost look electric. And then you start to realize it's the electrical energy that's moving things up off the ground. Just as like in, in um, contrary, things that move into the earth are magnetic. So you have your root vegetables and we are electromagnetic beings. Understanding that, that we're not a, a composition of uh, vitamins, minerals and all. We are that too. But in the same way of if your spirit leaves your body, people don't want anything to do with you. It's the same thing with our food. If the spirit and the life in the food has left the food, but the body is still intact, you're not really absorbing the essence of that food. So consider really what place the body holds, what is material and what is beyond those spectrums of materiality and just really look at, begin to observe the patterns. For me, when I'm picking watermelon, for example, I can see that the external elements of it, the patterns on the watermelon come from the inside. So if I'm attracted to the patterns on the 
outside, that means that the flavor inside and all those things inside are also going to be um, congruent. So uh, for me, I love this conversation and there's so much to be said about it. I just wanted to make a short video so that we could absorb it in pieces and we don't overdo it. Um, but please, if you have any questions, comments, um, I would love to hear what your, your thoughts are on this topic uh, because I know it's a powerful one. We are the only species right now on the planet that has conversations about our health. You don't see squirrels sitting around saying, should we eat that, shouldn't we eat that? Uh, it's because we've really disconnected from our, our sense of understanding our relationship to the earth. And so I, I really want to invite us to get back there. Um, and once again, as always, uh, if you feel called to subscribe, please do so. This is uh, Andrew McFarlane sending you my love, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.